is about to be a million times worse. If you can tell, it's snowing a little bit. About an hour ago, it was snowing fiercely and the roads are just starting to stick, which means that this blizzard is starting and it's starting pretty quickly here. I won't be surprised if by tonight we're already in full storm mode. But the customers, my coworkers, they have been freaking the hell out of me because they've been telling me how we're supposed to have canned food, extra water, we're gonna lose power, which means that we won't have heat. And all this stuff that I guess is totally, it makes sense, but I did not think it through. I'm surprised David didn't tell me. He probably doesn't even know. We're from, we're from freaking California. Like we don't know what to do. We've never been in a situation like this. At least I have it. Maybe David when he was little cause he's lived in Wisconsin and Virginia and whatever. But I mean, I don't know. I literally have to find out from my coworkers like what I'm supposed to do like how to survive here. Yeah, some customer came in and he was like, oh, the storm of 78 had everyone's power out for two weeks and they were on standby. No one could go anywhere and do nothing for two weeks. And tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's blizzard is supposed to be way worse than that because it's gonna make history apparently. I don't know if I've already said that, but uh, that's a little scary. I'm telling you, I'm like a breakfast genius. If there's one thing I can cook, it's breakfast. Are you ready to be amazed? I'm kind of scared to open this. Okay, you can hardly even see out the window. be careful because if I open this door and I'm not holding on to it then the wind will just <laughs> that's pretty insane and this is out our back window the marsh is completely covered That is so insane. It's like there's a ton of snow out there, but it doesn't really seem like that much in certain spots because the wind carries it all around, so it doesn't really settle in certain places. But the places that it does settle, like look out this door. Pretty nuts though, right? And then if you look out like our bedroom window, it looks like the ground starts like two feet below the window. Oh, you can't even tell yet. See? <laughs> like what? I mean, look at our trash cans. <laughs> My mom just texted me from California, and she was like, how's the blizzard, honey? Do you like it? And so I just sent her back a picture of that car all covered in snow. And I was like, I haven't quite decided yet. Quickly. Ah, crazy. So this is when the 65 mile per hour winds start. You can hear the wind. A 
All right, folks, we're in the middle of a blizzard. Crazy winds. Those little birds are crazy. Are you cold, little birdies? Okay, my neighbors are probably like, dude, that crazy chick, that crazy California chick is insane. But look at that, and that car is completely covered over there. Well, oh, there's a person, looks like he's gonna go shovel. It's kind of cool, our landlord told us to park right there. It's like the perfect spot for it where the wind I mean the snow's not really collecting on top of it like our landlord's cars are <laughs> so we won't really have to shovel my car out tomorrow other than that that's in front of it actually like I don't care how cold and windy it is this is just plain exciting <laughs> look at this giant pile of snow like this is crazy look at the trash cans <laughs> i know i make it look like we drink a lot but that's really not the case right hun are you tired no why you've been on my mind all day i don't know i, 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 <laughs> I, downloaded, I downloaded a, co a compliment I think you have to add in the, you've been running around my mind all day or something. That's the pitch. Um, are you... You don't even have three stars in your Are you wearing space pants? Because your booty is out of this world. Mm -mm. What, that wasn't good? It's shot time. Shot time. So, I was just looking at the liquor and then I was thinking about beer and it reminded me of when we used to go to our friend Ted's house for dinner with his parents who were from where are they from again they're from Bulgaria and they were talking about stories where like Germans would drink liquor and beer or something and just sip on it but anyways we really miss dinner at Ted's house that was those times were so awesome and dear to us Good morning, the day after the storm. Pretty, pretty snowy. Everyone has the okay to go into work and stuff, so we're not in a state of emergency anymore, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> This is the aftermath of the blizzard. He's got his truck full of this now. I guess you really wouldn't need to build an igloo. You just kind of <laughs> carve your way through. Oh, this makes me so nervous. I wonder what it's gonna be like in town. <laughs> I feel oh, oh, like <laughs> I'm in a cabin in the snow with the snow up in the window like that. And then if you can tell, it looks so much prettier in person, but the way the sun is shining for the sunset, it lights up this whole back room. The really pretty orange glow. Ooh. And then the way that it's reflecting on the snow out there looks really pretty. So, yeah, the neighborhood is full of like mountain piles of snow everywhere from the plow trucks. And everyone's been out trying to like look at there's someone out there with his snow blower thingy but it reminds me of like gophers 
or like ants making little, um, like burying themselves, like little gopher trails everywhere. So cold. David and I are cooking dinner together. We're making twice baked potatoes and he's making chicken and we're watching your sister's sister. Yay, let me have something to snack on. Yeah. I'm gonna read. Snacks. Snacks on racks. <laughs> Look at those bad boys! That was weird. I thought I turned that off. Um, so we're making some Brussels sprouts as well. <laughs> Damn, babe, we're like cooking a really good dinner. Who knew we had it in us? Dinner's looking real good, son. It's three degrees outside. What the? I think these little tugboats covered in snow look so cute. Like, we totally live in freaking winter wonderland. Look at all the icicles on that house. I feel like, I feel like we live in the North Pole or something. <laughs> Okay, so this is what town looks like, all covered in snow, everywhere you go, so much snow. Yo, look at that, Chili's covered in snow. You don't see that in California. Oh, thank God, it's seven degrees now. So the cool thing about living here is that there's a Pizza Hut, which I've never had Pizza Hut before moving here, so that's pretty dope. Oh, there's a leather and lace adult video store, but it's not just an adult video store, it's actually like a strip club, but uh, I don't know this because I went in there, I just know this because that's what people told me, because it's there's signs on there that say live nude girls, and I was like, what do you mean live nude girls? It's a video store, but no, there's actually like strippers in there. Cute little stand that sells uh, fresh eggs and homemade fudge and apple cider. Like how cute does this place get seriously? I wonder what car dealers have to do when it snows like this because all their cars are covered in snow. Like, do they just, do they dig them all out? Or do they just let it, like, melt away? Like, what do they do? Four degrees, bruh, make up your mind. <sighs> it's that work grind time. I do not wanna go to work. Oh man, it's freaking nice right now. It's like 38 degrees. Who would have thought that I would ever say that 38 degrees is a nice day. <laughs> but I mean, to hop from eight degrees this morning and then be 38 degrees right now, I will take it. This is a good song. David and Maya's favorite songs. but I got some lipstick on my chin. Uh, oh, that's probably what it is. Guys, 
it's really dangerous to be rocking out in the car when the roads are slippery and just not in the best uh, condition to not be paying attention. So don't, don't uh, follow, don't do what I do, okay? When I'm here waiting for the pizza to get out of the oven, and I'm just like standing like this, hopelessly looking at it like a lost puppy waiting for its owner. My boobs get so hot. They're like on fire. Like if you touch my boobs, you burn yourself. And there, it's a track. A track is not classy. Is it open 24 seven? What are you doing? No. <laughs> I'm this recording. Is for, this is for you too. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> That's my boss. <laughs> so, wait, is it open like? What did you say to me? I said BRB. Beer? Be right back. Bird. Bird? <laughs> so. So. What compels you to want to record your husband in the shower? I'm not recording you in the shower. I'm recording our conversation. Outside the shower? Yes. I was just gonna say that it's really funny because I can see you through the shower curtain right now. Can you? Yeah, and you're wringing out your hair like I wring out my hair. Maybe try to like, like get the water off of me so it's less on the towel. Yeah, like I'm surprised you don't want to try this hair twisty thing. Like this is a lifesaver. I hate when my hair is wet and then it just drips Ugh. everywhere. After you dried up your body and now you have like wet streams running down. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not. A river of regret sliding down your chest and your back. Uh, uh. Hmm. Yeah. The husband is showing me what did I call him? Life cheats every man should know. He's teaching me how to cook bachelor food. Well, not really teaching me how to cook, he's just making it for me. He made. Sorry. We had frozen burritos. You guys know what these things are? <laughs> and he like put butter on them and grilled them or something. And then put sour cream and sriracha. Those were dank. And now he's making a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And let me tell you, it was so good. It was like the best burritos I've ever eaten. David thought that I was going to show you guys my social security card just now. I wasn't going to. Because I was like, even my social security card has your last name on it. You know, like trying to be all smooth and like pick up on him, but... Then he just called me a thief, so. Whatever. You know, when you like try to like find the perfect spot to balance your camera, I guess that beer bottle's not gonna work. Kids, first you're sour, then you're sweet. Ow, just kidding. You're sweet and sour. Mmm, like sweet and sour chicken. Ooh, it looks good. Yummy. So where'd you learn to do this? Chef school? No. For bachelors? Boredom. Do you graduate with Boredom. straight A's? Boredom. Boredom. Okay, got it. Alright, now for the real test. Really hot. <gasps> messy foods are the bestest foods. Oh, mm -hmm. So, we decided that he takes ordinary food and makes it extraordinary. So, it's called Extraordinary Meals by David Diefenderfer. 
I hate to embarrass you on your vlog, but 90% of this is just because you're really sheltered. This is really typical. What? This no. Is, this is pretty normal stuff. What is Haterade on your uh, on your menu of bachelor foods as well? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm saying yeah.